Episode 68, Let's Go Together. In Xander's office, Zack met this loyal minister of the Conroy Group. There are rumors outside saying that you are Kate's right-hand man and that you are living with her. Is that true? Zack did not answer Xander's question. He only paid attention to him and wanted to see what kind of medicine he would give. Xander, obviously, did not really need Zack's answer. He continued, Don't worry. I see that people never look at their family background. I pay more attention to their ability and ambition. In my opinion, you are not bad. After that, Xander expressed his dissatisfaction with Nathan and expressed his admiration for Zack again. As the chairman's old friend, I watched Kate grow up, just like my own granddaughter, so I will never allow her to be together with someone as ambitious as Nathan. I hope her future partner will be an excellent young man like you. So, do you understand what I mean? Zack nodded. Xander, I understand. I want to compete with Nathan. I can't give him any chance to get close to Kate. Xander nodded with satisfaction. He opened the drawer and took out a bank card and handed it to Zack. There is a card here. Take it and package yourself properly. You should spend more time with Kate, shopping, eating, and watching movies. It's all good. Anyway, women need to be accompanied by love. Go! Zack declined a few times but was forced into Xander's hand so he accepted it. After Zack left, Xander's face showed a sneer. 26% of the shares. Nathan will definitely target Kate, right? Unfortunately, you will be staring at her for nothing. I will find someone to keep an eye on Kate now. I will not give you the slightest chance. While Xander was feeling a little proud of his arrangement in the office, Zack had already left the company headquarters building. What a pity. Zack was too lazy to comment on Xander. He went to the ATM machine not far away to check the balance. If it didn't check, he wouldn't know. Xander actually gave him a credit card, and it had a spending quota of $1 million. $1 million! Tsk, tsk! In order to tie Kate down, you really are willing to do it. But... A little less than I expected, right? Zack took out his phone and made a phone call. Get the bank to adjust the spending limit of this card for me. I want no limit. After hanging up the phone, Zack looked at the credit card again. It was much more pleasing to his eye now. Just as he put the credit card into his pocket, Zack received a call from Kate. On the phone, Kate said that Nathan wanted to invite her to dinner with him. Yes, of course I want to go. If someone is treating us to dinner, why don't we go? Take me with you, I'm hungry. Xander was not stingy at all. Zack also had to be generous, right? After all, it was a credit card with unlimited spending. Tonight, he had to relive his extravagant life of spending money like it was nothing. After work at night, Zack drove to pick up Kate, and then the two of them rushed to the hotel that Nathan had booked. One had to say that Nathan was quite good at picking up girls. It was just an ordinary meal. It was supposed to be a simple matter. But in the end, he packed the private room to the brim. Beautiful flowers were laid on the floor, decorated with neon lights. And the entire room was decorated in an extremely romantic manner. If it was an ordinary girl, she would probably cover her mouth and cry when she saw this scene. But Kate was obviously not an ordinary little girl. She also did not come by herself and brought Zack along. After seeing Zack enter, the flattering smile on Nathan's face instantly disappeared. What are you doing here? Kate replied, He's my driver. I can't just eat here and let the driver wait in the car, can I? Besides, you, Nathan, are filthy rich. You don't need to worry about another mouth to feed, right? Nathan was unhappy in his heart, but in order to please Kate, he still put a smile on his face. Of course! Please, take a seat! At the dinner table after that, Nathan brought up the matter of inviting Kate to cooperate with Frank, but Kate refused. 
I never talk about business outside my office. If Nathan wants to talk about business, you will come to my office later. Well then, let's talk about something tonight. Not business. After that, Nathan indeed did not talk about business anymore. But Kate also did not talk about much with him. Therefore, under the urging of his sulky heart, he would occasionally mock and ridicule Zack. However, Zack did not talk back, so after a few sarcastic remarks, Nathan was too lazy to say anything else. In his eyes, Zack was trash, and trash who didn't even dare to return the sarcasm. After dinner, Zack said to Kate, Director Conroy, the jewelry show you wanted to see earlier is about to begin tonight. It seems like it's almost time. Shall we go over now? Before Kate could say anything, Nathan, who was beside her, spoke. Kate, do you want to go and see the jewelry show? If I had told you earlier, this jewelry show was organized by our Drenly group. As he spoke, Nathan went to the side of his Ferrari and opened the door of the passenger seat. This is our own jewelry show. Let's go. I'll go with you now. I promise I won't keep you late. Kate smiled to show her gratitude to Nathan's sincere invitation. All right, then I will have to trouble you to drive in front to lead the way. After she finished speaking, Kate returned to the Mercedes-Benz. She left Nathan standing beside the Ferrari and pressing the door with an embarrassed look on his face. Zack smiled and said, Old classmate, can you lead the way? Nathan's face was cold and he slammed the car door with a bang. Trash! You think you deserve to call me old classmate? There's a time when you will lose your arrogance. Back in the car, Nathan drove the Ferrari to the jewelry store, while Zack drove Kate behind. In the car, Kate asked curiously, When did I go to watch jewelry shows? Why are we going to watch jewelry shows? We're going to watch a show. I heard that there is a show at the jewelry show tonight. Everyone is looking for some reputation tonight. It is quite interesting. Zack's answer made Kate even more curious. Why were they looking for a reputation? Could it be that some people had lost their reputation? However, Zack did not answer her question. The car followed the Ferrari in front of them and sped all the way until they finally arrived at the jewelry shop. The jewelry show tonight was indeed extraordinary. Apart from the high-end jewelry showcases, there were also some top quality jewelry showcases. Those top quality jewelry were all worn by international celebrities to attend events. In other words, they had been advertised. For example, in 2009, Gina Julie wore a pair of Colombian jade earrings which weighed 115 carats, worth $2.5 million. In 14 years, Jennifer Lawrence wore a crystal diamond necklace with an artistic style which was worth $2 million. In short, it was very valuable and very beautiful. Kate's eyes lit up when she saw it. She didn't really like jewelry. However, Zack did not care about that. He only cared about the show where everyone came to show their faces. Finally, following Nathan's words, this miraculous show began. Nathan said in a flattering manner, Kate, do you like it? If you like it, I'll give you one.